Hello, dears, and welcome to Al-Husseini Virtual Lab Pathology Talks, Tips, and Practical Tips. Today, I'm going to share with you actually a continuation from the previous tip, tip 37. So I'm going to show you exactly how to interpret beta catenin because after I uh, recorded uh, the tip, I went to the WHO um, uh, classification blue book, and I tried really to look into the photos they have for the um, beta catenin. And uh, this image is actually from the WHO uh, 2021. And as you can see, this is the nuclear stain. This is patchy, a case of patchy nuclear stain of beta catenin that really shows beautifully the nuclear stain. So I thought back that why don't I try to have the uh, image or uh, the photo taken on higher magnification. This is the beta catenin that I showed you in the previous tip on medulloblastoma. And what I explained is that this the blue color is the nucleus that is non-immutant. And these ones are probably the nuclei which are immutant because we don't see the blue colored nucleus. So it's in comparison to it. But what I did afterwards is that I put an oil immersion and I took those photos or those images on uh, um, the highest power, on the oil lens, um, which is uh, 100 times X100. And as you can see beautifully here, these are the non-mutant nuclei, and these are the mutant nuclei. And I was really so happy that probably this would uh, really help to sort out how to interpret the beta catenin in various tumors, but in particular in medulloblastoma. So this is another focus. And again, these are the nuclei which are negative and all the rounded nuclei here are the ones which are positive for beta catenin, even the lighter uh, colored ones. And this is a third photo. And again, here beautifully, these are the nuclei of the cells. And the last is this beautiful image where we have like a mosaic pattern of staining. Some nuclei are completely negative. Remember that the cytoplasmic membranous staining is normal. Some nuclei, some cells, as if you cannot really differentiate between the cytoplasm and the nucleus. And then in other cells, the nuclei are dark brown, clearly nuclear stain, which would be supportive of a uh, mutant beta catenin. So essentially, I I think it's very helpful if you are in doubt of your beta catenin is just to put a drop of oil on the slide and then try to scan or see the slide on the oil immersion uh, uh, lens, which is the lens with the power 100. And I think it will be of great help to you and your practice. I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.